Hello grade 12, Mr. G here. Um, previously we did a video of, um, of how to understand graph of velocity versus time. So let's make the second video, which is how to understand the graph of position versus time. To me, personally, I think this one is easier because all you have to do is to picture what is the object doing actually with time. Okay, so it's quite easy, it's not that difficult, the video will be shorter, and I hope you understand. If there is any question, you can always um, ask, okay? So, let's first of all use the object being projected up from the ground. So, this object is being projected upward from the ground, and then let's first of all draw the ground. Let's say the ground is here, so you can um, understand more or less what is going to happen to this object. This object is going to start from the ground with an initial velocity and it's going to move up the object move up all the way to a point which is going to be the maximum height this one here is maximum height the velocity um, is zero there and then the object is going to return to the ground as from there from there the object is going to return to the um, ground okay so let's Yes, that is what is going to happen. So, in other words, the object is going to move up in such a way with the time and it's coming back to the ground. So, now, let's, like we did before, let's have two scenarios in which up is positive, in which up is positive, in which down is positive. Okay? So, let's draw the two axes. Just give me a second to draw the axes and I'll be back with you when the axes are drawn. Okay, we're back. Here are the axes. They're not um, at scale, but it's not important right now. So, if we take in the ground as the reference point, as the initial position, the object will start from the ground. This is the initial position of the object at the ground. The ground will be right on the um, um, x-axis, which is the time. So, this one will be the initial position at the ground. All right? So, when the object is moving up, what is going to be the shape of the graph? The shape of the graph will be a curve in such way. This is the object moving upward. This is as it's moving up, moving up. Where here, right on the top, is going to be the a final position um, of the object as it's moving up. Né? Final position as it's moving up. Therefore, here, at this point will represent the maximum height all right and this here in the x-axis will represent the time to reach the maximum height okay now what does the object do when it reaches the maximum height it turn around and it's going all the way back to the ground all right this is the object at this moving moving down all right in this one up is positive you can see that and moving up um, is positive okay so this is the graph of up positive the object is uh, moving up starting from the initial position all the way up to the ground okay fine if we do it here which down is positive then the final position of the object is going to be a negative number here and therefore it's going to be in this specific way this is the way to go up all the way going up moving um, up it's going to be like so this one here will represent the maximum height at that specific point there this here will represent the time to go up and then from there the uh, object return to the ground or to the initial uh, position which is this graph on this side this is as the object move down as the object move down in this case up is positive okay now remember you cannot go further because the zero point here this one here represents the ground. It's like it's in the ground. So, if these graphs go below that point, if it go 
uh, above that point, below this point, then that means that the um, object went into the ground. Okay? So, that is the graph of a projectile as it's moving up, going from the uh, ground. Okay? So, I hope is that um, that is clear. Now, if we have if we have, let's say now, an object that is uh, moving up, this object is going to be moving up, but not from the ground, from a height, height h. Okay, so it's like you just throwing the object up from a certain height, from a roof from a balcony, somewhere like that, okay? So let's do the axis and explain that uh, graph. Okay, here we are. Um, let's, let's see. So, here, up positive, we're starting from certain high. So, the initial position is already at certain high from the uh, ground. Okay? So, that object is right there. What it's going to do is going to move up. Note that shape is the same as we did here. You can see this shape is the same as this shape. is moving up. Here, is at maximum height. What does the object do? It turn back down now. Go back down here at this point. Why is the meaning of what is the meaning of that specific point? That point uh, mean that the object is passing the point of projection. So this here is the same point of projection, but obvious the object doesn't stop there, the objects go all the way down to the ground, so from there the object continues. You can see this is the graph of a uh, position vessel style from an object that has been thrown from certain height. This one is up, is positive. If down is positive, if down is uh, uh, up is negative, then um, this object will begin at certain height, but the height is negative because now um, up is negative, okay? Or down is positive. This is the initial position, which obviously is going to be a negative number. Same story, it will go somewhere up like so. Look at the shape here. You can see it's the same shape. Here is maximum height. There is at the maximum height. And then the object as from there turned down. So it's going to start a turning up until it reaches the same point of projection, which is that one there. You can see there the object is passing the balcony or whatever from wherever the object was drawn. And then obvious from there continues up until it reaches the ground. So this here represents the time to reach the maximum height, as well as this one here represents the time. To reach the maximum height okay now this one is taking the ground as the reference point if instead of doing that they ask you to take the reference point starting from the projection time it's going to be similar all we're going to do is to move the x-axis and make it into the projection point so what will it be let me just draw the axis so now here we are but the starting point is not going to be the ground, it's going to be the height of the object. So the initial position is the starting point from where the object was thrown. Okay, so the object is thrown from here, it's going to move all the way up to its maximum height, then it's going to return to the projection point, which is here, that is the projection point, which is, remember this is like the balcony, it's not the ground no more. However, now it passes, it continues that projection point, to the other side up until the that could be the height of the building 
this is at the end the displacement how high the building is that is the final position of the uh, object in this case is similar to what we did before the object is moving up from here this is the projection point okay up until reaches the maximum height all right reaches the maximum height it turned back it goes down now all the way up until it reaches the projection point and obviously it continues it passes that projection point in the other direction up until it reaches the ground here will represent the ground okay so i hope this is uh, clear i don't think it's too difficult you can always ask question to me uh, personally i think these graphs are much easier because all you have to do is to picture what does the object is doing thank you very much i'll do one on acceleration versus times graph but that one is very 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 uh, short okay thanks a lot